So how will Israel's health care system stand up against the out-of-control infection rates and government indecision? Joining us to discuss is the head of internal medicine at Israel's Sheba Medical Center, Dr. Gadi Segal. Dr. Segal, thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. All right, so first of all, you know, we hear that the new COVID, that new coronavirus wards are opening up practically constantly and that we have now surpassed the 800 severe cases red line set by the hospitals. What does this mean for our healthcare system? It means that our healthcare system is overloaded, but it has been overloaded for, for a while now. It's, you know, the, the number is an arbitrary number. And the problem is not the number of hospitalized, uh, it's also the number of severe, and it's the number of uh, health, health professional, healthcare professionals that are debilitated and staying in isolation and at home. And you cannot quantify uh, the, the tiredness of the staffs. And there are so many aspects that cannot be just summarized as a number. I don't say and I don't think that our healthcare system is uh, falling apart. This is not true. But indeed, it is working very, very hard and it is overloaded, certainly. All right, well, a number of weeks ago, you actually uh, made a, a now infamous post on Facebook saying that you were ashamed of Israeli society's behavior. Do you still feel that way with respect to the pandemic? I am expressing my feelings with respect to the current situation, not in order to express my feelings. I do not uh, wish to be a public uh, character. Mm. I'm expressing my feelings in order to uh, cause an action. When I uh, announced that, my intention was to move people towards uh, friendship, towards using their masks, towards avoiding crowding, uh, crowded uh, places. Right now, this is not the issue. Right now, I think we are in the midst of a, a very harsh uh, fight against COVID. And right now, I'm changing my expressions. Right now, I'm expressing the stamina of Israel's 111 internal medicine departments, which are working day and night, nurses and physicians, alongside with the ICU crews, to enable the uh, admission of thousands of COVID-19 patients. And we strive to keep the mortality as low as we can. Well, so, so do you believe that the coming closures, or rather the ongoing closures that we're uh, going through right now are going to help? I can give you an analogy for the closure when you ask me about the closure, whether it is going to help. We have already jumped out of the airplane. And right now you are asking me, do you think that a parachute can help? Yes. The answer is yes. When we still sat in the plane, I strived that Israeli, uh, Israelis will use masks that will obey the, uh, the physical uh, distancing. But right now, when the, uh, when the pandemic is so uh, hard, when it is so widespread, we don't have any choice. Right now, we, are, we just fell out of the airplane, and the closure is our only uh, parachute. Yeah. And the more this parachute will be wider, the more this parachute will be stronger, then the landing will be uh, easier. All right, Dr. Gadi Segal, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, happy holidays this weekend. Thank you very much.